Hello, hello, welcome back to Divine Destiny Guide, casting all your cares upon him, for he cares for you, 1 Peter 5, 7. So welcome, if it's your first time, returning soul tribers, new soul tribers, thank you for your love, your support, greatly, truly appreciate you. Uh, if this is your first time, or maybe for those of you who are returning, please make sure that you have your notification bells on, I know sometimes the messages don't go out but at least i try my best to have a message for you daily so in case if you don't see any posts from me always just go and search divine destiny guide and videos you'll be able to see the message for the day so thank you thank you i truly appreciate you so here we have a lot of you you are stepping out in faith. You step out in faith, and I love this for you. I love it for us. And the, the truth is that God always comes through. God always comes through for you. And a lot of you, you're taking back your energy. And because you're doing that, it's leaving a lot of people bankrupt. Wow. So you're stepping out in faith. And you grew whatever happen in your life you grew from it you grew from it it's like it's having the courage to step out of the boundaries the limitations the lack mindset believing in yourself that you can do it and with God on your side all things are possible and you grew from it and it says God always comes through and like there's a song he will do it again for you he'll do it again and even if for us it may seem like God is slow, but, but what we know is that he's sure. He's on time. It's on time. And even if we feel as if we're bending, we won't break. He always shows up for us. Big deposit in your bag. So for a lot of you, if this is where you were doubting or lacking funds, big deposits whatever it is if it is love you need in your life god is making big deposits if it's in your health god is making big deposits to replenish you to restore you to revitalize you to re-energize you anywhere where you had lack god is restoring and it's in a grand way it's in a huge way that is showing up for you wow and it's like yeah a lot of people, they don't like that because here it says people need to mind their own business. So a lot of people, you know, they're not minding their own business. Yes, it's you believing that you can do all things through Christ. And so you realize you didn't need, you don't want these people. They need you. And so you took your courage back or you're taking your energy back. Yeah, some of you <laughs> took your courage. Maybe you gave. I didn't mean. I didn't mean to say that, but maybe you gave your courage. You handed over your power to people, the wrong people, and so you have now the the faith, the confidence in yourself to take it back, realizing that you don't need them. With God on your side, and I mean, I said it. I think I said it before, but. You believe that you can do. You know that you can do all things through Christ. The thing is you don't want people around you. And like that card that I saw before. People not minding their business. All these people were doing. They were just poking in your life. They really were not there for you. Not At least not for the reasons that you thought. They were not there to help you. It was fake support and now it's like you you're taking your power back or you have taken it back now it left them bankrupt because again for a lot of you a lot of us and I've said it before our energy it's priceless and these narcissists they love it they fuel off of it they build businesses they buy homes they buy cars they make themselves look a way out there on you building on your foundation so it's like they're on your legs using your legs to stand while they want to leave you home 
in, in a wheelchair, not having anything, they are shining off of you. And it's you realizing, you know, heck no, you're taking your legs back. And they're realizing that they built their house or their foundation was built on sand. Everything around them now is crumbling. It's you knowing who you are, knowing whose you are, believing in yourself, loving yourself. So many times we get upset, oh, people don't love us, but do you love yourself? Because when you love yourself, people will either rise to the occasion or they will have to walk away. Because you're not going to tolerate mediocrity. You are not going to settle for less. So this takes you coming into knowing what you deserve. Some healing, you've gone through some stuff. Yeah, so for a lot of you, yeah, you understand better now. You understand better now. That some of you, you're alone, but not lonely. And it's like, if those are friends, then who needs enemies? You have your peace. You don't have to worry about anybody gossiping and all of these unnecessary things, you know. Your life becomes drama-free, toxic-free. It's like the less you know, the better off you are, actually, when you, when you come to terms with that. People business doesn't bother you anymore because, see, a lot of people, they were not minding their own business. And as soon as they hear something, then they pass it on to you. Now, you have something else on your mind to think about. So it's like the less you know, the better off it is for your own peace. So you're coming to the realization of that as well. And I love that for you. Yeah, so a lot of you, you're making boss moves and money moves. You're focusing on yourself. And yes, yeah, so a lot of you, you peep game. You know what they're up to. So even though you may not say anything. So even though you may not have said anything to a lot of people, you peep game. You realize that these people are mischievous. They're trying to hold you back. These people, they're you're gossiping up in your business all the time. So now you know exactly what they were doing but you did probably for a lot of you people probably thought that you were you know really foolish they were able to run games on you like you're, you're not catching on you're slow and all this time you're just watching them it's like giving them rope to unalive themselves it's like sometimes i think about it and it's like even thinking about the Bible with Jesus and Judas and uh, Jesus he knew that Judas loved money again we saw it he loved he loved money so much that he was willing to sell out can you imagine that that must have been and a lot of us there are so many Your different levels there's so many different system. levels of betrayal out there but it's like to know that you feed somebody, you lay down next to somebody, you help them emotionally, different kind of alleys. You were there for people in their times of needs. And to know that people turn their backs on you, would sell you out for money. You know, when he came down to it and they asked Peter, do you know him? Peter's like, no, no, no. Peter got upset. Like, don't ask me anything. I, I said, I don't know this man. You're asking me this is the third time. And it's like, even though Jesus, he knew that Judas was, do, would, would, he loves money. He was stealing money from, from what they have, the resource they have for his own selfish needs. Jesus just pretended as if he didn't know. Because truly, in, in the end, the truth will come out. And so for a lot of you, a lot of us, people were able to like play in our faces, you know, where they thought that they were getting away with things. 
and now they realize they find themselves on the other side of the door and they don't love what they're experiencing because it's like they can't believe how did you know how you found out did you know all along what we were planning what we were doing what we were thinking I mean, it's to the point where after the last supper, Jesus look at Judas and he's like, whatever you're going to do, do it quickly. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It's like you having the wisdom. And for a lot of you, a lot of us, this sharpens over time as we go, we meet different people. And it's like, you know that God is working on something. And it's like, let them play themselves. Let them play themselves. Let them run themselves out. It's like the clock. Let them run. Let them run themselves out. So a lot of you, you, you knew what was going on. But, you know, these people, they probably thought that they were getting away with things. And so, yeah, so you stepped out in faith and you grew from it. Whatever you are going through, you grew from it. You were going through some things, but you had the courage to leave, I don't know, that job, that relationship, those friends. Here we have cross. Whatever it was or is, you were definitely, some of you, mental suffering Something was missing, distress, a lot of disappointments. But you stepped out in faith. You stepped out in faith, the cross. It's about burden. A lot of things were placed on you, but you stepped out in faith. You stepped out in faith with the cross there. Wow, God always come through. Look, horseshoe, good luck, protection, success for the future. It's up to you. Caring spouse, unique opportunities. Take them. Take them. God always come through for you. And we're talking about big deposits here. God always come through for you. Mm, a lit candle. Finding inner peace, awareness, spiritual enlightenment, wisdom, successful outcomes after struggle. I can't make it up. You had the audacity. You had the courage. It's kind of like having your own uh, remembrance, you know, where sometimes they had light candles after somebody passed away. It's like you lighting a candle for yourself, for hope, for balance, to be restored to your life. Maybe some of you, you do that as a part of your meditation. As a part of your healing. You know, however you choose to, to serve divine, you know, in your praise and all of this stuff. You lit a candle for your peace, your awareness, all of this stuff. And it's like God always come through for you. I love it, Harshu. Good luck, protection. We are protected successful future because again you have been through much you have been through a lot you carried your cross with grace without help without anybody applauding you we saw the card people didn't even mind their own business it's like they were looking talking Wondering if you're going to break under the pressure of it all. Well, but you grew from it. You grew from it. Whatever it is, whatever it was, you grew from it. Wow. Mm -mm. I love that. I love it. See, you grew from it. Puzzle puzzle think about a puzzle when you throw out all of those pieces it's like oh my goodness it's finding the first one to start and then finding the others to click into it it can be a harder task it's not easy and for a lot of you whether it's just life was just lifing 
or people who are putting blockages in your way, but it was a puzzle that left you feeling defeated, confused. It says someone will come to your aid, be strategic, be confident. So whatever that you were going through this puzzle, you grew from it. It's like you were able to find your way out of this maze, out of this sadness, out of this depression, whatever it was. I mean, with the cross, I mean, that's a lot. That's a lot. Wow. See, it's like people who are addicted. Some of you, you probably were addicts as well. You had an addiction. But it's like things were placed in your life to cause confusion, chaos, destructive disorder, inner pain, self-deception, intense desire. Somebody wanted to maybe control your life, but you grew from this. A lot of things were thrown your way in order to throw you off. Wow. And now look, it's like after the hard work, God is showing up to pay you off, to hand you. It's like giving you that, that, that gift, that payoff, that settlement. This is the well done, good and faithful servant, the key. New opportunities and connections opening up access, finding a solution, new ideas. I'm telling you, after a time of hard work, you know, and Spirit is saying here, protect yourself. Yes, you are protected, but at the same time, it's like, what have you learned from carrying your own cross, your own burdens? being confused, being addicted, having chaos and all these disruptive things in your life to throw you off. Have you learned anything? Because now moving forward, when God is blessing you, when God comes through for you, for those of you, maybe you're already in this season, it's confirmation. And if you are not yet, or if you're in the phase where you're puzzled, not sure if you need to step out in faith. Maybe this is a call to action for you. That, yes, it's not easy, but it will pay off. It will be worth it in the end. Trouble does not, and it will not last always. But you have to be persistent. You have to have the courage to stand up in the face of fear. In the face of negativity to push beyond the bar barriers and the limitations that are set, whether it's naturally or spiritually, or just people trying to be wicked and mean. Jesus said, we all have to pick up our cross. You carried your cross. And it's like, now is the time for you to reap. You grew from that situation. You had the nerve to check into rehab, to go and get help for whatever it is you were struggling with, to seek healing, to go into isolation, to seek wisdom and knowledge and guidance. Life was like a puzzle. How are you going to figure this thing out? Some of you, you're here in that place right now. How are you going to make this work? Because it looks as if those ends are not meeting. And with you just being patient, being persistent, trusting God, He will. For some of you, you know it over and over. Even if your faith is, you know, a little bit weak right now, but deep down you know, you know that God, he always come through for you. You know for sure. You know for sure. Wow. And now you have the key. Spirit is saying protect yourself because you may have people who wants to come in to force themselves or their way into your life by being manipulative, 
They want to now remind you like, oh, remember we're family. Remember blood is thicker than water. Well, I didn't see that blood when I was going through my hardship. I didn't see any families or friends when I was going through my puzzles, my, my chaos in my life, when I was weak and, and broken and needed them. That's when people just stood out, you know, stood off. And it's not as if they were minding their own business. They actually were minding your business. They were keeping an eye on what you were going on to see if you were breaking under the pressure. And like I said, some of these could have just been life. You needing to take control of certain things. Some of this was spiritual warfare. Some of these people purposefully left you out there to sink or swim. And every day they check up on you to see how far under you were. They know that you needed help and they were not there for you. So this is why you need to protect yourself. You're called to protect yourself from manipulative people who want to come in to charm, to sweet talk you, to take away what you have because now they see that you decided to swim. I mean, I can only imagine they're blown away. They're blown away to see how you came back from this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of them may even come back and say that they, they heal. You know, be careful. It says distractions are not a quick fix for deeper issues. You know, see through the illusions. See through the lies. They're going to want to come back to say that they heal when in truth they have not. It's like, have you learned anything? And from what I see here, a lot of you, you, you peep game. You know how these, how these Decepticons work now. Yeah, craftsperson. So a lot of you, you're busy carving out your life. You know, you're being creative, paying attention to detail, having, again, the willpower, follow through, highly skilled, spiritual. You, you, have, you have a makeover. You're an innovator, artisan, goal-oriented. So you're just focused on your craft now. You focus on your craft, building yourself. Because these people, they were building themselves up off of your energy. And with you knowing that you have God on your side, you can do all things through God who gives you strength. Yes, and we know he's the creator. So as divine ones, we are creative. We are our father's child. Blessed, highly favored. You see, your willpower, you're, you're not going to break. And with you now flourishing in your own energy, because you're not spreading yourself thin for these evildoers to harvest off of you. Now you have self-worth, self-love. You don't have to go outside of you. Everything is already inside of you. You can now create. You can now create with divine, co-create the life you desire and the life you deserve. Yeah, so a lot of you, you're rebuilding right now. And it says rebuild, establish, communicate in your own boundaries. Absolutely. So a lot of you, again, you know what you desire. You know what you deserve. So you have boundaries. You have fences that are lined with electricity. So that if the wrong hand touch it, they... They are zapped, right? So you you have, you know, measures in place to keep the wrong people out, you know, and you know who, who to let into your life, into your space. I love it. I love it for you. I love it for us. So, you know, you understand better now. And with the moon phase here, you know, your end of a cycle, transition. 
secrets been revealed, higher wisdom, figure something out intuitively, magic. So a lot of, you know, now you know what was going on. You're putting an end to those cycle. Everything is revealed. You're moving on from people, places, and things. You're seeking higher wisdom as well, you know, and intuitively, like I said before, you peep game, God showed you what these people were doing. And with everything revealed, everything is now out in the open. You are free to move on. It's like these people cannot guilt trip you because it's like you gave them opportunities upon opportunities to prove themselves, to do, to do right. And yet still they just, they can't help themselves. I mean, they're, they're what they're made for, you know? And so a lot of you, liberty, freedom, you're releasing the chains of the past and you're dancing to the rhythm of the possibility ahead of you. The truth sets us free. The truth sets us free. And when that happens, again, we all have choices, free will, if you're going to stay or go, but it's freeing. A lot of you, you're not you're not settling, you're not staying, you're realizing that you are alone, but you're not lonely. You're not gonna sell yourself short. You realize that you you, you are the gift, you are the gift, and these people, they mishandled you. They mishandled you. Yeah, you're not alone, you know, and you're realizing this. Yeah, it's like slide, childlike wonder, taking risks, cheerful. So yeah, you're alone, but you're not lonely. It's like you can play by yourself. You know, you don't mind. You can cook by yourself, have fun. It's like you're childlike, that innocence. Just you being alone is like reestablishing yourself, connecting with your inner child, actually. You know, and you realize you're, you're getting better or you got better. You're embracing the change to unlock your full potential and flourish. So even if it's going through a divorce, yes, this is a start. You're going to be on your own now, but you will grow from this. You'll learn to connect with your inner child. I'm telling you, a lot of people are afraid to be alone. They're afraid to be by themselves. I, and, and that is so sad because there's nothing better than connecting with yourself. So for even a lot of you, a lot of us, people thought they were doing the worst when with all the puzzle there, with the chaos, they were sending chaos, magic, conflict so that you fall out of relationship with people. You know, they were actually helping with the cleanup. You know, they were a part of the cleanup crew and we thank them for that. You grew in the dark. People thought that in the darkness, nothing happens, but you grew in the dark. You did, you get better, you got better. You connected and you healed your inner child. You know, it's like that playfulness. Mm. Accept surprise, you know, with the boss moves over here. So a lot of you, by you rebuilding, and now you're, you know, creating your craft, mastering your craft. Again, you're getting in touch with how creative you are. It's like these bright ideas. I'm telling you, it's amazing when you move away from toxic and negative people, places and things. How is like this awe, you know, coming is like things are just like falling out of heaven because these people, they were blocking you. They were blocking you by using your energy. So it's like the things that were supposed to come into your life, they were stealing it. They were taking it. They were using your energy to do this, to create businesses and, and, and all the things that you want and need. And they were leaving you drained and stagnant. But when you take back your energy, call all your energy back, cleanse and purified. Now they're left over there like a prune. They're shivering out in the cold because they were content with having you out there. So now it's like, why are they coming back? When they had it to do, they sold you out. They prefer to steal from you. And now that the table is turned in your favor, now they want to come back to guilt trip you. 
Well, I'm telling you, if you give them back that opportunity, they're going to leave you back outside as soon as they get a chance. They're not even, it's like getting a check. They're not even going to the bank. They're just going to stand right there and scan it into the account. Immediately, they're going to send you back on the opposite side because they don't love you. It's not genuine. It's like stop fooling ourselves here. So open to surprise, dreaming and imagining will bring you powerful visions into reality. Making boss move, money move. Practice mindfulness to be present in the moment and gain insight. I'm loving this. Target, see, focus on your target. Minding your own business. That's what it is. Minding your own business. When you come to not care about what people think, who is doing witchcraft, who is doing sending evil eye, we don't care. You're minding your own business. You're minding the business that pays you. They choose to make you their business, especially after you take your power back and they can't use you anymore. It is now their mission to watch you because there was a point when it's like you were looking at them like, oh God, why is it that the wicked, they're flourishing? Now you did what you were supposed to do. You heal, you took your power back, you have boundaries. You know what to do now? Now they will have to watch you. <laughs> Look, divinely guided. Stay aligned with your highest dreams and ideas to find success. This is the best way to end this divinely guided keep your eyes on the prize i'm loving it i love it for you i love it for us stay blessed